In Activity 5, Magnetic Fields, students make iron filing patterns to visualize the invisible field lines in a magnetic field. Students then compare the pattern made by a single magnet to the pattern made by two magnets placed near each other. In this way, students discover the polarity of magnets. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 4, Part A and B, plastic cups, magnet rods, small magnets, white paper sheets, and iron filings. You will also need to provide safety goggles and transparent tape. To prepare for this activity, make a copy of Activity Sheet 4, Parts A and B for each student. For each team of two students, place about one half teaspoon of iron filings into a plastic cup. Also, each team of two students will need one small magnet, one rod magnet, a plastic cup containing iron filings, a sheet of paper, and two pieces of tape. To begin the activity, divide the class into teams of two and distribute the materials. Give activity sheet four parts A and B and a pair of safety goggles to each student. Have the students wear safety goggles when working with loose iron filings. Make sure students wash their hands if they handle any filings. Instruct students to tape the small magnet to the top of one of their desks and to place a sheet of paper over the magnet. Then, have them sprinkle the iron filings onto the paper over the magnet. Students may need to try this several times to get a distinct pattern. The filings can be returned to the cup by picking up the two sides of the sheet of paper and pouring the filings back into the cup. Next, tell students to sketch the pattern made by the iron filings and the small magnet on Activity Sheet 4, Part A. Then, ask the students to repeat the process two more times and to sketch what they see each time. Tell the students that all of the iron filings will be collected at the end of the activity. After the students have finished making patterns and recording them, invite teams to compare their sketches with those of other teams. Have several students share their sketches of the most typical patterns made by the iron filings. Then explain that what they have sketched is a picture of the invisible field lines that surround the magnet and show where its magnetic force can be felt. Define magnetic field as the area around a magnet where the magnet's field lines can be detected. As the tiny iron filings respond to the pull of the magnet, they line up around the magnet, outlining the magnetic field. Repeat steps two and three, this time with the rod magnet. Again, invite teams to compare their sketches with those of other teams. Then, encourage the students to explore the pattern made by a combination of magnets and ask, what do you think the pattern would look like if two magnets were placed next to each other, end to end, without touching? Ask the teams to exchange magnets so that each team has two magnets of the same kind. Have the students position the two magnets end to end, about one and a half centimeters apart, and tape them to the desktop. Cover the two magnets with a sheet of paper and sprinkle the iron filings as before. Have the students sketch the pattern that results at the top of Activity Sheet 4, Part B. Now ask the teams to remove the paper and iron filings, turn one of the magnets 180 degrees facing the opposite direction, and tape it down again. Have them cover the magnets again with paper, sprinkle the iron filings, and notice how the pattern has changed. Have them sketch this pattern at the bottom of Activity Sheet 4, Part B. Then ask students, how do the patterns confirm what you already know about the strength of different parts of the magnet? Students should find that the patterns show the concentration of filings is still greater at the ends of the magnet than the middle. Ask students, is the magnetic field flat or does it surround the magnet in all directions? Students have most likely figured out that the magnetic force acts in all directions. However, they may not realize that the field lines extend in three dimensions. Finally, demonstrate the magnetic field extending in all directions. Place a magnet flat on a desk, then sprinkle some iron filings on a sheet of paper and lower the paper down onto the magnet. They will observe the iron filings arrange in a pattern even before the paper contacts the magnet. To conclude the activity, pour the iron filings back into their container and return them, along with the cups and magnets, to the kit. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM teacher's guide.